Hey guys, it's Jonathan Rose, owner, Masters in Trading. This video is gonna be broken up into two parts. The first, why you need to hedge. I'm gonna make a strong argument of why you need to protect your portfolio. Whether you agree or disagree, please hear me out. The benefits of buying insurance when risks are elevated can't really be valued because it gives you the peace of mind if things roll over, when things roll over, that you're protected. So not only the money that you save, but also the peace of mind of when do you get out, when do you get out. The second part of this video, I'm gonna teach you how to hedge your portfolio. For the second part of the video, you'll need a basic options knowledge. But first let me explain why we need to hedge. Right now, GameStop is going through one of the biggest short squeezes ever in market history. GameStop has broken the stock market. If this can happen once, this can happen again, this will happen again. We are in a time where you could have a private room on the internet and you could have 10 million, 20 million people in there. So there needs to be regulation around this. This is something that the stock market's never dealt with. GameStop exposed the market. Trading since 1997, I've never seen anything like this. For my skeptics out there too, go to the YouTube channel. This is old news. The short squeeze is old news. What ended up happening was GameStop got short more shares than there were. And it got up to, I think, 137 or 147 leverage. So they're buying out of the money calls as a group. And because of the leverage of, of options, it's exaggerating how market makers need to hedge. That's a totally different video, but this is old news. What's not old news is a coordinated effort by a group of people manipulated the value of a stock. Because of that, there does need to be changes. So that adds uncertainty to the entire system. When there's uncertainty, when uncertainty rises, Volatility rises. The implied volatility of the overall market rises. We're seeing the VIX rise right now, SPY right here at an all-time high. In front of you, this is our high value target tool. I use this all the time. I usually use it on a daily. It's a 21 period uh, historical moving average. And then just three sigma bands and four sigma bands, three sigma and four sigma. And you get a sell signal when it trades out of four sigmas and then back in and under that three. The SPY on a weekly, we're starting to get them. Starting to get them. Here, got some follow through. Here, green buys. On the daily, obviously it's gonna be a lot more active. But if you go all the way out to a monthly, and you look how the market's reacted here, here gets it to roll over, green, green gets it out, market rolls over. Even here, you still get that little bump. These two, we come off. Here, we come off. We're right back up to that four sigma band on a monthly. Couple that with what's going on with the value across the entire market and then you throw in this additional nonsense with short interest stocks and this battle between retail traders and hedge funds, which is going to be really interesting to watch as it plays out. But you got to think with all that uncertainty does add more risk. You need to hedge.